me to sit on the mats. A relatively aggressive flow today, about 45 minutes. Um, think athletic, think movement, think progression. Hi. Um, so yeah, let's we'll go ahead and get started. Go ahead and get onto your mat. Just lie on your spine all the way down. And be at peace and see if you can engage in a little bit more restful opportunities. When it comes to peace, I'm getting my watch moving for yoga. If you're just not joining us, we are meeting us in Shavasana on your back. Palms facing upward, that external rotation in your hips, and just come to your mat. Take a few deep breaths in through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Again, noticing the inhale come into your body, expanding as you exhale, releasing. Once more, inhale. On your next inhale, you reach your arms all the way over your head, your legs towards the front of the room. You're still activating your navel as you stretch, drawing your spine. You walk your hands to the left top corner and you walk your feet to the bottom left corner. So you're making that crescent shape on the mat. Keep your shoulder blades on the floor. If you want to grab both your hands together, reaching in that diagonal, noticing the expansion of the right side of your body as your left contracts, as if you're pressing your hips to the right side of your mat. Inhaling back through center, we walk it right side, heels right corner bottom. Hands, right corner top, expanding the ribs, lifting the hips, reaching for the left side. Notice the expansion between your bottom ribs and your left hip. As you inhale back to the center, now we get super active, super quick. So keep your arms reaching overhead, squeeze your inner thighs together, pull your navel towards your spine, lift your shoulder blades off the mat, and then lift your heels off the mat as well. So you're making this hollow shape. Now find five hollow rocks. One, two, three, four. Last one, bring your knees into your chest and draw them in, just a gentle hug. Finding that lateral movement side to side, just activating your core strength there. Take an inhale. As you exhale, your knees go left, your gaze goes to the right side, so you're opening with this easy twist you can take that right arm, make it a goal post position, or you can just reach to the opposite end, edge of your room as that left hand gently guides your right thigh closer to the floor. Opening that right shoulder. Find two more breaths here. Really allowing that peaceful feeling to settle in. Last one. On the exhale, you twist deeper. Good. Next inhale, bring your knees back through center, take them to the right, opening up to the left. Your left arm reaches. You can find that goal post position too, or reach up at the opposite end of the room. And that gentle spinal twist. The right hand guiding your left thigh down closer to the floor. Inhaling back through center. Grab the backs of your knees, rock and roll forward and back three or four times, eventually crossing your ankles at the top of your mat, rolling over your knees, catching yourself in a box pose. So you're here with your knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders, and have make sure that your toes are right behind your knees. If you want to tuck underneath for more stability, you're more than welcome to, but now just find some cat and cows on your own, noticing that you're Inhaling and exhaling, and as you inhale, the belly opens and expands. Sorry, I have an itch on the back of my body. As you exhale, you press into the floor. And if lateral movement or that shifting of side to side is what you need, find it. Find some circles. Really open it up to that organic movement. So you're thinking this is an opportunity for your wrists, your shoulders, your knees, your hips. And just feel it out. Take a deep breath in. And then sigh it out as you meet me back in a neutral spine. I really want to make sure that our extensors and our forearms are stretched out. So take your fingertips and flip them. So you're going to face them back towards your knees. And then shift forward and back. 
If your palms come off the mat, that's totally okay. That finding beautiful shifting of energy as the forearms open. Now, come to your box pose with your hands just the way they are. Drop the shoulders down your spine. Try to bend your elbows down towards your, back towards your knees. This is incredibly challenging as it does take some pressure on the wrists, opening the extensors in your forearms. Take a breath in. And then as you release that, flip your palms in the same direction. The fingertips go right back to your knees. And now you're on the top of your hand, shifting backwards and forwards, saying hello to even more opportunity in your wrists and your forearms. Good, take a deep breath in. Meeting me back in a beautiful box pose. Take your toes, tuck them underneath you, lift the hips, find your first downward facing dog. Excellent. As you find movement, eventually stillness allows the stability to come in. So allow the breath to take you into that downward facing dog. Gazing toward your navel, really pulling the navel up into your spine to a slight tuck in your pelvis. As you feel that belly almost hollow out as you push evenly into both hands. Good, take a breath in, side out through your mouth. Shake your head yes, shake it no, good. Inhale, lift your heels off the mat, come onto the tops of your toes, and as you exhale, soften the heels right back down. Do that twice more. Inhale, come onto your toes as you exhale, let the heels soften. Last time, inhale, exhale, let them soften. Good. Come to that peaceful place here. Spreading the fingers wide, noticing the tension in your tongue and your jaw, releasing it. Inhaling your right leg all the way from the sky, shifting your weight forward, knee to right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Knee comes to your nose, shift it forward, arch the spine. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to opposite elbow, good. Inhale, three-legged dog. As you exhale, step it through. Find your low lunge. Find some stability as you open up that left hip flexor, draw the belly in. The neck tension comes in, let it go. Ground through your right foot. Standing splits, or find that L shape, just kind of releasing and opening the back side of your right leg. Releasing the neck. Inhale. As you exhale, step your left foot behind and cross the ankle. So your left foot's behind, right foot's in front, and slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time. Reaching the arms high, grab the left wrist, pull it, inhale. As you exhale, fold over to the right side. Coming back through center, reach your arms both equally high. Drop the shoulders, tuck your pelvis, one-legged Tadasana. Reach the right knee up towards your chest. Step it back to a high lunge, Anjane Asana. Take an inhale. Exhale, runner's twist, easy twist. Left arm reaches high. Following to horizon lunge, outer edge of both your feet. Come right back through, place your hands down. Step your left foot back to meet your right for your plank pose. Lower the knees down, lower the chest and the chin. Find the opening in your throat here as you push your palms into the earth. Inhale, thread it through to a baby cobra here. Release the toes. Open, expand the back of your neck. Take a bigger inhale now. Exhale, child's pose. Press back. Good. Great, great work. As you find your first child's pose here, keep your knees wide, but just the width of your mat. Don't go any further than that. Let the chest fall closer to the floor with every exhale. Are you massaging the forehead on the mat? And knowing every time we go into child's pose, you're always welcome to grab some water if you need to, but keeping the breath moving is the most important part. Excellent. As you begin to engage in that peaceful feeling, what is it about yoga or this moment in time that gives you that peace? Think about it. Let those thoughts swirl into your mind that bring about that level of serene, a serene feeling that washes over you. 
As you're in your child's pose, press down through your palms, reach forward, tuck the toes, lift the hips back to your downward facing dog. Really, really good. Inhale your left leg high, shift it forward, drive the left knee to your left tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog, back to your chest. Inhale, three-legged dog, use your palms pushing into the earth, left knee, right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift the left heel, draw it into your chest, step it through, low lunge, and enjoy this moment in time as you release the neck. As you pull the belly away from your thigh, you ground to your left foot, standing splits. As you extend, you lift the right heel, square off the hips. Use your hands for guidance. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, cross it behind you. So you're finding that cross-legged position. Slowly squeeze your inner thighs together as you roll up one vertebra at a time. Reaching the arms high towards the sky, grab your right wrist. Inhale. Exhale, fold over to your left. Open that side body and inhaling back through center. One legged Tadasana, reaching the left knee up into your chest, stepping it back into your high lunge, coming back to your mat if you need to. Inhale deeply as you take that twist. Plant the left hand down, open the right hand. Find your horizon lunge, coming right back through. Plant the right hand down, step your left foot back, drop the knees, chest and your chin. Stay here for a breath. Next, inhale. Threading it through, baby cobra. Squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. Lengthen the back of your neck. Huge inhale. Exhale, child's pose. Good. Take that moment you need before we move into our sequence. Now just know, as we progress, We'll be going through the sequence three times with changes, modifications, and engagements throughout the whole time. So know that as we expand, if you want to hold back, if you want to stay in a pose longer than you need, want to, or longer than I ask you to, go for it. Totally fine. Excellent. Meet me back in a downward facing dog. Lift the hips high. First round, we go relatively slow so you can get the feeling of how it is. Inhale the right leg high. Drive the knee into your chest. Feel the articulation of your spine. Step it through. High lunge. Anjane Asana. Good. High in the ball of your left foot. Secure this leg as you're lifting that back knee up towards the ceiling. Bring the arms high. Take an inhale. And settle in as you open up. Tuck the pelvis underneath you. Let the heart open here as you ground through your right foot. One-legged Tadasana, so your left knee drives up into your chest, balancing on your right foot. Deep breath in. Feel the core pulling in that hollow man that we found. Same sensation. Now cross it over for a figure four. Bring your hands to your heart and sit down into this. Keeping the hands at heart, feeling the opening of the left side of your body. Flex the left toes back towards your shin. Good. We're going to come out of this the exact same way that we came into it, but I want you to stay here for one more breath. Mm. Inhale, back to your one-legged Tadasana. Drive the left knee into your chest. Ground and root through your right foot. Step it back to your Anjane Asana. You're here for a second time. So really let that opening happen right here in that quad right there in that psoas as you exhale to your warrior two. Deepen in your right knee. Your first time here, so as the hips open and you find that external rotation, drive the right knee forward, right hand reaches hot forward, left hand reaches behind you. Breathe in and exhale. As you reverse, bring the right hand, reach it towards the back of the room. Let that left hand baby float off the left leg. Feel the expansion of that side body, tuck your pelvis. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Plant the hands down. Go through your knees, chest, and chin again if you need to, or find your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Take a few breaths. Settle into that peaceful feeling again. 
and inhale the left leg all the way to the sky, shifting your weight forward into your palms, press the knee into your chest, step it through, high lunge, Anjane Asana. Beautiful. Pull the belly in, same sensation here on that side, right? Deep breath, ground through your left foot, drop the shoulders, crown of your head lifts as you step forward. One leg into asana, driving the right knee into your chest, really tucking that pelvis, squeezing your left glute, cross it over, figure four. Hands come to prayer, sit deep into this posture. As you sit lower, notice how far you can go down. You're not hunching forward. You're really opening up that heart space. Inhaling back through that one-legged Tadasana. Stepping it back to your Anjane Asana. High lunge and opening up to your warrior two on the left side. Good. Breathing in. And exhaling. As you reverse, flip the left palm, right hand floats, reach that left arm to the back of the room, expanding the right side of your body. Exhale, flow through, plant the hands down, knees, chest, and chin, or squeezing their thighs together. Lower through your chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. As we start to build upon this, continue to move with breath, knowing that that's your foundation. You can stay in any of those postures as long as you need or want to. Now inhale your right leg high, shift your weight forward, step through, Anjane Asana. Now ground through your right foot. Inhale, one leg into Asana, cross it over, figure four. Sit down to this posture, a little lower than the first time. Pull the belly in. Imagine your right glute meeting your right heel. Inhale back, step it back. Anjane, open up your warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, easy side angle. Drop the right forearm on your right thigh. Left arm reaches above your head. Now be here as you feel that expansion, that lengthening in the inner thighs. Feel the strengthening as you pull the heels closer together. Looking underneath your left armpit. Breathing in. Inhale, back to your warrior two. Reverse, exhale, runner's twist. Plant the left hand down, reach the right arm high. Walk to a cross out right to a wide-legged forward fold to the left side of your mat. As you make your way to this prasadrita, just allow that hip movement to happen. You're really opening up the hamstrings here. So if you wanna do grab your elbows and shift side to side, great. If you wanna find some twisting, just make sure that you keep your sacrum flat and breathe here for five breaths. Really, really good work. Two. Last one. Good. Now bring your hands to your hip crease. Inhale halfway. Now squeeze your glutes and your hamstrings. Inhale all the way. Star pose. Reach for opposite four corners of the room. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, flow through your anyasa. Plant the hands down. Step your right foot back. Chaturanga or knees, chest, and chin, or no, you can skip it, right? Inhale, and as you exhale, downward facing dog. Excellent. Let's find that left side, yes. Inhale, left leg high. Shift your weight forward, drive the knee into your chest. Step it between your palms, Anjane Asana. Good, crown through your left foot. Pull the belly in, shift your weight into it. One leg into Asana, cross it over, figure four. Now you know you're gonna sit here for a second. So again, instead of sitting into that left hip, sit your left hip back so your hips stay square. Hands to heart, flex the right toes. See if you can get your left hip closer to the left heel. Take a deep breath. Belly in. 
Next inhale, reach one leg into asana. Drive the right knee into your chest. Float it back to that Anjana Asana. Exhale to your warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Side angle on your left side. Left arm reaches. Place the forearm on your left thigh. Right arm reaches overhead. Now again, still feel the lengthening of the engagement of your inner thighs, right? Inhale, back to your warrior two, stay low. Inhale to reverse, runner's twist. Take your right hand down, open your left arm for the sky. Horizon lunge to a prasarita, wide-legged forward fold, facing the left side of your mat. Same rules apply. You wanna find some movement, go for it. You wanna try and still this, stay there. Otherwise, you're here for five breaths. Good, two more. Last one. Good. Bring your hands to your hip crease. Inhale, halfway lift. Inhale all the way as you squeeze your glutes. Star pose as you exhale to your warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, flow through. Plant the hands down, step it back. Lower through your chaturanga, knees, chest, and chin always if you want. Flow through to upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Really great work, everyone. Keep the breath moving. I know the sweat's starting to fall. Your heart rate might be racing a tiny bit. Every time you need to come back to that present moment, come back to the breath. Let's move on. Lift the right leg high. Step it through. Anjaneyasana. Ground through your right foot. Squeeze your right glute. One leg into Tadasana. Drive the left knee into your chest. Figure four. Bring your hands to prayer. Sit back. See if you can always notice a difference in the range of motion every time you go. Now, day constantly your arms behind you. Really see if you can move them beyond your spine. Now, straighten your standing leg. So you feel the opening but strengthening of your bottom leg. Drive your left knee into your chest and send it back for your warrior three. As you get to your warrior three, that right foot has to stay super grounded. Pulling the belly in, squaring off the hips. Good. Floating it back to your Anjane Asana high lunge. Very nice, everybody. As you get there, inhale to a slight back bend that takes you to your warrior two. Deeper than last time. That right knee wants to straighten. Drive the right knee forward. Really tuck the pelvis. Expand through your heart. As you reverse your warrior, bind your left arm behind you to your right hip crease. As you exhale, side angle pose. This time, take your arm inside your right thigh and your left hand reaches up. Breathing as you drop the left hand, find a runner's twist, right arm reaches all the way up. Walking into a prasa wide-legged forward fold to the left. This time walking the hands all the way forward. So you feel your weight distributed in each foot evenly. Then just like a wide-legged downward facing dog. Five breaths. Last one. And then walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Bring your hands to your hip crease. Inhale to lengthen halfway all the way up. Reach the arm for that star pose. Exhale to your warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, flow through. Plant the hands down. Step your right foot back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very, very nice. Take a deep breath. Exhale through your mouth, really let that go. 
Inhale your left leg to the sky, shift your weight forward, drive your knee into your chest, then step it through. High lunge, Anjane Asana. Really tuck the pelvis underneath you, ground through your left foot, one legged Tadasana, lift up. Drive it over, figure four, hands come to prayer, sit low. Sit low, flex the right toes towards your shin. Feel your back super long as you tighten up the middle body. Good, engaging and meaningful breath. Dayakasana your arms. Straighten your bottom leg. Pull the right knee up into your chest. Beautiful warrior three as you drop the right hip. Very good. Grounding through your left foot. Maybe it's straight, maybe it's bent. Squeeze your shoulder blades down together. Floating it back to your Anjane Asana high lunge. And your next exhale takes you to your warrior two. As you inhale to reverse, find the bind. Right hand, left hip crease, side angle pose. Keep the bind if you want, or extend your right arm high. Bend the left knee as deep as you can. Feeling the twisting from your thoracic spine too. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, plant the right hand down, runner's twist. Open the left arm for the ceiling. Good, find your horizon lunge, out, outer edge of your feet, all the way to your prasa wide-legged forward fold. This time taking your hands behind you. Or if you want to find an inversion, you can. You can take that tripod, you can take a headstand. Or just reach your arms behind you. Breathing here for three breaths. But if you're like me and you just need movement today, that's always acceptable. Last two. Last one. Everyone's hands come back underneath your shoulders. Bring your hands to your hip crease. Inhale halfway. Squeeze your glutes. Inhale all the way. Star pose. Pivot your left foot. So you're back to your warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, plant the hands down. Step your left foot back. Lower through your chaturanga. Inhale up. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. Really great job. Take a breath in, and as you exhale through your mouth, release. Do that again. Let it out through your mouth as the hips come higher towards the sky. One last time. Inhale. Oh, inhale the right leg high. Step it through. Drive the knee to your chest between your palms. Raise the arms high. Anjane Asana. There we go. Good. Tuck in the pelvis, ground through your right foot, one-legged Tadasana, mountain pose. Cross the ankle, over the left knee, hands come to heart, figure four. Pressing the palms firmer together at your heart space is gonna be your guide. Really lift the chest as you sit lower, take an inhale. Exhale, twist over towards your right foot as if you're going to place your left elbow inside of your left foot. Good. If you want to open your arms, be my guest to feel that twist. If not, just stay in that twist. Good. Take it for three. Take it for two. Now, as we come back through center, one-legged Tadasana, reach your left knee back up into your chest. Now, pull your left heel towards your left glute. So now your knees are in alignment. Take your left hand behind you. Grab the inside of your left foot. Dancer's pose. By kicking your ankle into your palm, that's what takes you forward. As you kick, beautiful. Breathing. Grounding through that right foot. If you fall, it's okay. You're gonna meet me in that warrior three with Dekasana arms. Your right leg is gonna start talking to you a lot. So if you wanna bend your leg, you can. Really ground through your transverse abdominus, those lower abdominals, lifting the heart space, half moon. Stacking the hips, stacking the shoulders. Reach the left arm high, it's okay if you fall. 
Pull the belly in. Good, floating it back to your warrior two. Now just reassess, come back here. Woo. Balance says, not today, Satan. <laughs> warrior two. As you inhale to reverse, if you want the bind, it's there. If you don't, don't worry about it. Exhale, side angle. Difference here, extend both your arms to the diagonal. So you're working on strengthening your obliques. And then come to a charging lunge, reaching the arms forward, pull the belly away from your thigh, take an inhale, slight back bend here, and then runner's twist. Open the right arm high. Good. Horizon lunge. And cross out, reach out, wide-legged forward fold. Now see if you can notice the difference, right, of how much closer you are to the earth. Just take some moments here and explore. If that twist is what you want, if you want to grab the backs of your ankles and pull yourself deeper, what is it that's going to make your practice what you want it to be? Again, five breaths here. And slowly bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Inhale to that halfway place. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale all the way. Star pose. Heels come in, arms go out. Exhale to your warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, flow through. Plant the hands down. Step your right foot back. Chaturanga. Skip it, knees, chest, and chin. We meet back in your downward facing dog. Good. Take a breath in. Side out through your mouth. Feel that release. We'll do it twice more to equalize ourselves for each side. Last time, belly draws in. Feel the spine lengthen, exhaling. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Step it through. Anjane Asana, high lunge. Grounding through your left leg already, right? High in the ball of your right foot. Shift your right into your left foot. One leg into an asana. Cross it over. Figure four. Hands come together at heart. Sit low. Now, you're going to notice that some side's going to feel different, right? If you want to sit low, sit low. Keep the hands at heart and then begin to twist. So you're looking to get your elbow inside that foot. For me, right now, it's virtually impossible. But the idea is you twist by pressing into your palms and shifting your heart space. Breathing in for three, you got this. Belly in for two and one. Come right back through center. Inhale to your one leg, it's an asana. Now you're gonna be on your left foot for a while, it's okay. Bring your right heel to your right glute, knees together, right hand grabs the inside of your right foot. As you kick the ankle into your palm, dancer's pose. Good, find the energy reaching from each palm. Good, as you float it to your warrior three. Your warrior three with Deikasana, your arms. It's okay if your balance is challenged. Really lift through your lower belly. Flex the right toes. Anjane Asana, you float it back. As you exhale to your warrior two. Good, take a breath. Inhale to reverse, half bind or not, doesn't matter. Exhale, side angle with both arms reaching at the diagonal. Feeling the obliques truly engage. Good. Charging lunge, high in the ball of that right foot. Pull the belly away from the thigh, lengthen the back. As you exhale, runner's twist. Right hand comes down, left arm reaches the sky. Horizon. Coming back through center, prasalarita, wide legged forward fold, five breaths of your liking. Maybe the twist, maybe the stillness, maybe the reach. Either way, it's your time. So take it. You're doing amazing. You're doing amazing. One more breath. Bring the hand underneath your shoulders. Inhale halfway, pull the belly in, squeeze the thighs up. Bring your hands to your hip crease. 
Inhale all the way up, heels in, star pose. Exhale to your warrior two. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Exhale, flow through your inyasa. Plant the hands down. You can always have that modified chaturanga coming down your knees. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now, a little reverse moment here. Begin to walk your hands all the way to your feet. And once you get there, take your feet mat width apart. And start to let the hips descend down for Malasana Yogi Squat. Now as you get into this place, if your heels come off, that's okay. That's okay. Just allow the heart space to come forward. Gazing forward, relaxing the shoulders, belly draws in. Finding that peaceful moment as you sit. Two more breaths. And your last one, when you exhale, lift the hips back to the sky, hands come back to the mat, walk yourself to a short downward facing dog, drop the knees all the way to the floor, cross your ankles over, and sit onto your glutes. Really amazing work. As you sit onto your glutes, shift down to the middle of your, your mat, and roll all the way to your spine. As you bring your heels towards your glutes, notice how that changes, how your knees feel, how your lower spine feels. Just settle in for a second. It's easy to go into your back bend fast, and we're gonna go in very slowly, and we're only gonna go into our, our bridge pose. If you want wheel, you can go into it. Otherwise, I want you to bring your hands down to the mat. Palms facing down. Heels as close to your glutes as you possibly can. Now press your lower spine into the mat and begin to peel it off slowly. Slowly, squeezing your glutes, engaging your hamstrings. One vertebrae off at a time. So you're slowly on your upper back and then you shimmy your shoulders underneath you. Good, lifting the hips. Think simple, think expanding, think patience. We're going to lower down the exact same way, one vertebra at a time. Slowly, the last thing to come down is going to be your lower spine. We'll do that one more time. Really feeling the articulation of our spine as you slowly peel your hips. So feel that tuck, lifting, 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 all the way onto your upper back. Shimming your shoulders underneath you. Lifting the hips, pressing through your whole foot. Good, pressing your palms down. And slowly come through that articulation. Very, very nice. And then when you get to the bottom of your lower spine, come to the floor. Windshield wiper your knees, right and left. Just gonna let that spine go. So good. Hmm. Leading me back in that neutral space. I'd like you to draw the knees in towards your chest. And as you do, grab the outer edges of your feet, happy baby, pulling the knees down towards the side of your body. Good. Maybe lateral movement. Maybe you bend and straighten one leg at a time. Just seeing where your hamstrings truly are. But your lower spine wants to come closer to the floor. And then bring your knees right back into your chest. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, send your heels straight up to the ceiling. Bring your arms either behind your head, to your side. You just feel your legs up the wall. Holding this posture. Letting that blood flow reverse for a moment. Acknowledging that peaceful presence that you've created. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Now drive the heels towards your glutes. Just if you're pulling your knees now right back into your chest. 
And we take that spinal twist again. Your knees go to your left, your arms open like a T or a goal post. And this time just let gravity, forget trying to pull the leg down. Just let gravity and let the twist occur. Excellent. Inhale back through center. Take it to the right side. Inhaling back through center. Reaching the legs long, reaching the arms long. Huge long body stretch. And then exhale, just let everything come to the earth. Just relaxing. And when, if you want to get into your Shavasana, if this is it for you, stay here. If not, bring your heels mat width apart. Bring your arms by your side. And just find Shavasana for a moment. Gifting yourself this time knowing that no one can take that away from you. Beautiful. Coming back to a peaceful breath. Gently give yourself another long body stretch. Drawing your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a big hug here. Then fall onto one side or the other for your child's fetal position. Then make your way to a seated position, cross-legged, facing me, keeping your eyes closed. Bring your hands to your heart space. Just thank your body for what it can do. Thank your mind for allowing it to be peaceful for 45 minutes. Acknowledging that light inside of you, you inhale your thumbs to your third eye so that you can honor the divine light in others as you bow and say, Namaste. Namaste.